friend of me, any me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Friend of me, friend of me, any me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Hi guys, it's your Pontiff, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I am doing a paid review and this is for Francesco. And he's sent me a really nice uh, donation, but he's asked me to keep it confidential. Before we, this is paid review 21QA122. Quick wristwatch check whilst I do the woo woo, the review. I'm wearing my milk house. The blue, the Z Blue Milgauss. Absolutely love this watch. Okay, let's jump in. Dear Archie, I've just sent you some money via PayPal to support your channel. Of course, I need your precious help. Please don't mention the amount. My name is Francesca. I'm 47 years old from Sardina, Italy, the beautiful island in the Mediterranean Sea. I've watched hundreds of your videos. You simply run the best watch show on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. And you're an inspiration to me. After years of mistakes and poor choices, I've been so stupid sometimes. So let's start. Here, you, the, here is the actual state of my little collection. Pictured, attach, picture attached. I live near the sea and have a deep passion for dive watches, as you can see. Here we go. Number one, number one, a Tudor Black Bay 41 mil with red bezel, 2016 model. It's my everyday watch. I'm glad that you like this model. I love its heritage and timeless design. It's a tank and the red color combined with the rose uh, gold. So beautiful under the lights of a sunset in front of the sea. Number two, a Rolex Submariner. Date, 41 mil with Black Bezel 2020 model. What can I say? The true origin for of my passion for luxury watches. The Landlord watch. I wear the sub a lot every time I go out in cool places. Nice restaurants or on holidays. I love it to death. It's a piece of art, you know, just perfect. And number three, an Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter. 42 mil on a blue rubber strap, 2018 model. I wear this modern looking timepiece only in summer. When I go to swim, it's a cool watch for me. I love its history and beauty. A sports watch covered in royal blue. And I want at least one Omega in my collection. So what do you think of my three pieces? And what can I do now? Do you think... I should enjoy my time pieces and wait, wait till my 50th to buy something special or better get my grail watch as soon as possible. Maybe a gorgeous Submariner two-tone, the bluesy. I've loved it since the 90s. What do you suggest, Pana? I'm a bit confused. There are so many watches that I would like to get. Do you think I have too many dive watches? The only thing I know for sure is that I like, I would like to add a new Rolex. Finally, a word for my girlfriend. We are alike, Arch. I have always loved to buy precious gifts for my women. Last year, I purchased for my beloved one a Rolex Oyster Perpetual 31 mil, the new one with the Tiffany dial, a handsome watch in my opinion. It is her first luxury watch and she wears it every moment of the day. What next for her? Another Cartier, uh, another Rolex or a Cartier? Above all, she loves a Panther de Cartier watch, a small model in steel. She is crazy about it. Personally, I like the watch and its prestigious brand, but not so much the quartz movement. The other watch I'm considering is a Rolex Yachtmaster 37mm two-tone in rose gold. What do you think? Thanks so much. I wish you the best, Francesca. Francesco. P.S. I love your current collection. So special and well balanced. It inspires me. You are a cool guy, Paul. And what a beautiful, beautiful email. Beautiful paid review. What more could you want? If only my 28 year old son had a job and things like that, I would be set. But hey, what, what, what can you do? 
Let's firstly have a look at this collection. I've got to be completely honest with that. Firstly, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. He was very, very, very generous. Now, let's have a bit of a look at this collection and, 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 and s see what we think. So, um, i got to tell you, first things first. Number one, I'm so happy you're a man who just does divers. I got a weird feeling that could be a fantastic way to go. Just do divers. I was a bit worried when I looked at this photo, uh, when I looked at your collection, I thought, oh, why has he got the Oyster Perpetual? And then when I read through it, it was your, your girlfriend, your lady's watch. And I can't think of a better, 31 mil size is absolutely good. Great size, great size. So, to be honest with you, you've got three divers. You know what? I really love it. I love it. If I were you, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how to say this, but I find people who then add a GMT, you wreck the collection. If it was me, I would just stick to divers. That's it. Only do divers and i think that can be so empowering just to do divers divers okay so 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 let's let's have a look here so firstly we have the tudor black bay you've got exactly the same one i've got it is a monster it is a big i i think the burgundy is really special to have burgundy uh and then you've got the rose gold gilt dial what a beautiful, beautiful, I love, some people don't like the faux patina or the faux rivet bracelet, but I love it. I think for the money, it's incredible value. So I'd have to give you a tick on that. Then, of course, we've got the Rolex Submariner date, 41 mil. I mean, you know what? I love, I don't think it matters whether you got the 40 or the 41. But in total honesty, I think the 41 just, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just the way they've done it. The maxi was stand out and this just perfecto, perfecto. Now that's not to say the 40 is a bad watch, but it's so subtle. You wouldn't even notice it. I think the black bezel version, which is the, the green version, of course, is considerably more expensive but I think the black is the classic that's the one I really wanted I got to give you a tick for that and then you've gone and got an Amiga on the rubber I gotta tell you I love it absolutely love the Omega on the rubber strap with the wave dial it looks amazing amazing and Okay, so we, we've just done the, the three watches. Amazing. And you know what? I love the fact you have got the... Um, you've got the, the black in the sub, the burgundy, the red in the, the Tudor, and the blue in the Omega. Another great watch. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. I love this this three piece combo as an in, as individual pieces they really do pop and as a collection just three crazy divers let me tell you I'd almost be liking I'd like to see you get well, it depends what you want to do one watch I really would add as another diver would possibly be a Pam okay particularly with your Italian uh heritage there panerai like a pam 111 or a 112 or a base model just a simple manual wind the other thing i'd possibly add is a brightling 
Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. It uses the Tudor movement. You've got to buy it secondhand. Do not buy that new because it, 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 does, it doesn't retain. But it, I reckon on the shark mesh, it is just a, it would look so beautifully with your collection. So I, I'd, I would be inclined to get a Pam, an iconic, when you, when you get a Pam, don't go too fancy, get a, you know, crazy, stupid things like GMT or uh, chronograph. You just want the basic manual wine, Pam, that's it. And as for the Breitling, it's got to be a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. The standard Super Ocean, uh, it's a bit how's your father. But the Heritage 2 ceramic bezel, Tudor movement, classy. What combo, color combo? Oh, maybe the blue? Uh, maybe the black. I, I've had the black. I had the black. I, I, that's what I would be, be looking at there. So... To answer your question, so what do you think of the three pieces and what can I do now? Okay, so basically what I'm saying is I'd add a Pam, a Breitling. Now, I, 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 love, I love the fact, let me just tell you this. You don't have to have, rules are meant to be broken, but I think sometimes when you follow a few rules, it really helps with your collection. And now for myself, what have I done? Now I've got a 10 piece, 10 on a leather strap, sorry, five on a leather strap and five on bracelet. It's really gives it the yang and the yin and the yang. And I gotta be honest with you, I've come to a stage where I said, that's enough. If I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd probably have four, three, four, five or six, but I'm doing YouTube, I need a few more. I love, so the rules for you would be, I would really love you to stick to divers only. Do not get nothing that's not a diver. That's what I really think just makes it gel, okay? Now, um, do, you, do you think I should enjoy my timepieces and wait till my 50th? How old are you, 47? to buy something special or better get my grail watch as soon as possible? Good question, good question. I am 48. I'm turning 49 this year and uh, I gotta be totally honest with you. It really depends on your financial position, okay? It really does depend on your finances, how are things going, etc., etc. If <clears throat> money's tight, I'd hold back because you've got a beautiful three-piece collection. If money is good, uh, I'd be inclined to, to get it. Why wait? And I say that, see, you could buy it now for your 50th. Why do you have to, you know, just get it now and that, that's my 50th present? Well, you're not 50 yet. It's kind of, you know, you get it earlier. So I, I personally, I got to be totally honest with you. If you've got the, it, it depends on your, it would, if, in my case, if, if I was in your shoes, it would depend on the money. If you've got the money, I get it. If you, money's a little bit tight, you've got a few other bills, I'd possibly wait a bit until you, see, you can use it as the perfect holdover excuse until, but, that's 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 what I would do there. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, wait till my fifty to buy something special, or better. See, the other thing is, instead of getting your super grail, why not maybe a Pam or Brightling as filler in the in between? Or better yet, my grail as soon as possible. Maybe a gorgeous Submariner two tone, the bluesy. I loved it since the nineties. I've got to tell you. It's funny, me and you got a lot in common because I lusted after the bluesy for years. I lusted after the bluesy. I didn't own one for years, but I, I did. And for my 40th, I got the Reverso Grand Date. And the funny thing is, it became a choice between two watches, a bluesy or the Reverso Grand Date. Now, I went with the Reverso. Financially, I would have been better off they were the same price. I would have been better off going with the, the bluesy. 
But I, I, that, that, that's, that's beside the point. And I got that earlier too. I got that about a year or two before my 40th, 18 months before my, because these watches are hard to come by. So um, I got to tell you, in all honesty, I've also had the solid gold, the solid gold sub. And I, I got to say, I actually, I enjoyed the solid gold sub. It was really FU. But I didn't actually enjoy wearing it. I mean, I enjoy wearing it on special occasions, but I got to tell you, a two-tone, hell of a lot more usable, a hell of a lot cooler. So I, I don't, I, I honestly, I think two-tone is amazing. So I definitely would, 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 would uh, consider, consider one for yourself there. Definitely, definitely. What do you suggest, Pontiff? I'm a bit confused. There are so many watches I would like to get. Do you think I have too many dive watches? No, I actually love the fact that you love dive watches. I think that is so damn cool. Just stick to dive, divers. That is so, so cool. That is so cool. That's exactly what... I would be doing this. Stick to divers. The only thing I know for sure is that I want to add a new Rolex. Um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd add a bluesy. I really would. Maybe a 40 bluesy. Does it have to be a 41? Maybe a 40? Ceramic or non-ceramic? Good question. Good question. I don't think it matters. I'd want a nice condition because everything you've got is really nice condition. It has to be nice condition there. And then... You've got your girlfriend. Okay, so, so my advice to you is, okay, so a couple of suggestions. It's always good to have more choices and then choose the one that really makes you, the one that you want. So I, I would love to see you add a Pam, some sort of basic Pam, iconic Pam, and I'd like to see you add a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage, and I'd also like to see you add a two-tone bluesy. Okay, so that's a tick. That's what my suggestion is. It depends on the money, how flush you are. Only you can decide that. Now, as for the girlfriend, I've got to tell you, well done. I've, my wife has got a uh, two-tone steel and gold Datejust. She loves it. The funny thing is, let me say this to you. I think it's great you got her an Oyster Perpetual. That is a beautiful, beautiful watch. But I think the second watch, it's probably better to get quartz. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. And let me just hang on there. Let me show you. Just let me just walk away from the camera. I want to show you two watches that my I bought for my wife. One is a Cartier Tank Banois in 18 karat. And the other one is an Amiga Constellation. Both of these are quartz. And for men, we love mechanical. I, I, I honestly wouldn't buy a... I've owned quartzes in the past, luxury quartz watches. But i got to tell you, for the ladies, they love just a watch that is quartz. So there's, there's actually... It's going to be, generally speaking, quartz luxury watches are cheaper than mechanical. They also tend to be leaner, smaller, because, of course, the movement... And I find the ladies just, it's good to have a watch in her collection, which she can just put on her wrist and go. The Cartier, uh, I, I, I got to be honest with you, I got that off Flea Bay and I got Cartier to do a full service. And I got a new strap, a new Cartier strap. My wife chose the color. So that was a great way to get that in schmicko condition the you're saying she likes the panther <clears throat> that's actually a beautiful watch i don't i think get the quartz it's going to be a lot cheaper than a yacht master okay let's be honest there <clears throat> the other rule is i generally wouldn't buy a girlfriend a watch like that if i was buying a girlfriend i'd probably go for a steel constellation okay i would be saying hey you've already bought the rolex slow down a bit unless you guys are married okay just that's my my opinion there that women love 
love these quartz watches because they're just set okay it's men who like the mechanical so i wouldn't discount a dress watch in quartz okay for women it's not as terminal okay now just remember if you get the cardiac they're not waterproof they're water resistant i wouldn't be swimming with it with rolex also guys just remember Every waterproof Rolex, if you're going to take it diving, you should really get it pressure tested every 12 months to make sure the seals are intact. Because water can get in if the rubber seal, it cracks or something happens, it deteriorates. My opinion is, I don't think it's terrible. You've already bought the Rolex. I reckon I'd get, I don't mind getting a second watch for her as a quartz. Okay, so that's, 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 and women seem to like the quartz. They're easy to set. So I got to say, I really love your collection. What I love is the passion for divers. That's what I, I really do love. I, 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 I get this overwhelming theme. You love your divers. I love the passion for the divers. Uh, that really is very cool. And... I, I think the fact that there's there's just three divers, that's just so cool. I would stick to divers. Now, I know you might say, well, rules are meant to be broken. Yeah, I agree. But when you follow some rules, it just makes it so cool. Like there are some rules that are really good. For example, you shouldn't wear a tie and a blazer with short pants and thongs. Okay. It's just that, you know, there's, you know, you can break the rule, but you look like a, a jerk if you do that. Personally, I actually have sort of my own collection. I kind of feel comfortable with the number of watches. I really do feel comfortable, and that's important to me. So I, I would say to you, um, add divers. I totally agree with that. I want to thank you again for your hospitality. You have been a real trooper. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please, I love these smaller, this collection. You know, I've, I've got 10 watches. And that's because I do the YouTube. But I think for most people, you don't need anywhere near that many watches. In fact, I think you get a sense of achievement once you've got your collection. Then you can just settle back a bit. Guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments below. And guys, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I desperately need paid reviews to survive. Without paid reviews, it makes it very, very tough for me to remain here on YouTube. Please get a paid review. Look down in the description on how to do it. Also, Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a small monthly fee to keep me in business because without your support, I wouldn't survive. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Like, subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review, 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube and I will see you in the next one 50 us dollars paid review i can't survive on google ads i need your support and guys you could also sponsor me on patreon patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on youtube hey guys archie luxury who do i recommend for watches in brisbane and sydney vintage watch co that's correct vintage watch co in brisbane arcade in brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney, Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys, amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.